Hi, this is Dawn from Ninja Bunny Crochet. Today I have for us to do the Trinity Stitch. This is a very nice stitch. It has lots of texture to it and it makes a very nice dense fabric. This is a good stitch for washcloths, blankets, just about anything. I will say though that when you're doing this stitch you're going to have to use some loose tension on it because the stitches can get a little tight which will make it difficult for you to get in to uh, do this stitch. It's basically single crochet and single crochet three together. I used, um, to do this stitch, I used a 5.5 millimeter hook and worsted weight yarn. It doesn't matter what size yarn you use or what size hook you use as long as they complement each other. If you have tight tension though, you might want to move up a hook size to make it a little bit easier for you to, to work this stitch. So let's grab our hooks, grab our yarn, and let's start working on the Trinity Stitch. The Trinity Stitch is done in a multiple of two. So it doesn't matter how long your project is, or how wide your project is, I should say. As long as your chain is in a multiple of two, for today's example, we're going to be working with a chain of 20. Once you have your chain of 20, we're going to start with a single crochet, second chain from hook, then we're going to do a single three together. We're going to insert our hook into the same chain that we just placed our single crochet into and pull up a loop and go into the next chain and pull up a loop and into the next chain and pull up a loop. So we have four loops on our hook, yarn over, and pull through all four loops. Chain one, and we're going to repeat that. We're going to go into the same stitch we just worked into, pull up a loop, go into the next chain and pull up a loop, and go into the next chain and pull up a loop. So we have four loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through all four loops, and chain one. And we're going to continue this all the way down the chain. Go into the same stitch again, pull up a loop, go into the next stitch chain and pull up a loop, and in the next chain and pull up a loop. So we have four loops on our hook, yarn over, and pull through all four loops, yarn over again, and chain one. And repeat this again. Insert into the same stitch, pull up a loop, into the next chain, and pull up a loop. Into the next chain, and pull up a loop. Yarn over, and pull through all four loops chain one to complete the stitch. Again, insert into the same stitch, pull up a loop, into the next one, pull up a loop, into the next chain, and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through all four loops, and chain one to complete the stitch. Continue this way all the way down the chain and I'll meet up with you at the end of the chain. All right, I'm on my last stitch. I'm going to insert and pull up a loop. Insert into the last two chains and pull up loops. Yarn over and draw through. Now on this last stitch we're not going to chain one. What we're going to do is we're going to insert back into the stitch and single crochet. So on the very last stitch, do not chain one, but insert back into the stitch and complete a single crochet. To start row two, we're going to chain one and turn the work. And we're going to make a single crochet into that first stitch, go 
back into the stitch and pull up a loop, go into the next stitch and pull up a loop, and into the next one and pull up a loop. Yarn over and go through all four loops and chain one. And you're going to be repeating this again, go back into the same stitch and pull up a loop, into the next one and pull up a loop, and into the next one and pull up a loop. Again, four loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through all four and chain one. Go back into the same stitch, pull up a loop, into the next one, and into the next one after that. Four loops again, yarn over, and pull through all four. Chain one, and we're going to go back into that same stitch again, pull up a loop, into the next one, and into the next one. So we have four loops on our hook, yarn over, and pull through all four. Chain one to complete. So continue this all the way down the row, and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the row. I've just completed my last single three together, and we're not going to chain one. We're going to go back into that stitch and complete a single crochet to end the row. To start row three, we're going to chain one, turn the work, and we're going to repeat row two. So this is a single row repeat. So single crochet in that first stitch, we're going to go back in there, pull up a loop, into the next stitch, and into the next. So you have three, excuse me, four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four, yarn over and chain one. Again, go back into that same stitch again, pull up a loop, into the next one, and into the next one. So we have four loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through all four, and chain one to complete. Again, insert your hook into the same stitch, pull up a loop, into the next stitch, and into the next. Your chain ones get a little bit tight, so if you tend to crochet tight, you might want to go up a hook size than your recommended yarn. Yarn over and pull through, chain one to complete. So continue this all the way down to the end of the row, and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the row. And we've come up to our last stitch. And we're going to complete that stitch. We're not going to chain one. We're going to go right back into that same stitch and place our last single crochet. Now what you're going to do is you're going to repeat row two for however long you want your project for however many rows. Just like for our example, we have many rows onto our example. So if you've liked this tutorial, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to ring that bell so you won't miss any of my tutorials. Thanks for watching and happy crocheting. Bye bye.